The next topic that we're going to take a look at is that of air conditioning processes. Now these fall under the area that we uh, call with an acronym called HVAC, Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning. So with this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at different air conditioning processes. Now these would be air conditioning processes, for example, in the building that you might be currently in. Uh, so heating, uh, cooling, humidification, things like that. Uh, but the processes that we will be considering are the following. So we're gonna look at the simplest, would be simple heating where you're adding thermal energy to an airstream to heat it, for example, in the winter. Uh, simple cooling, that would be our air conditioning process when it's hot outside and we wanna cool. Uh, there's also humidification. Sometimes you want to add moisture to the air. For example, now in North America, uh, it's winter and things can be quite dry and so when you uh, condition the air you will want to add moisture in order to bring the relative humidity up to a more comfortable level otherwise your skin will crack uh, and then at other times of the year uh, for example if you're in a very hot and humid climate uh, you'll sometimes want to remove moisture so that's what we refer to as being dehumidifying so these are some of the processes that we will be looking at as a part of heating ventilation and air conditioning and we'll also be looking at combinations of these. Now, we talked about the uh, psychrometric chart last class, or, or last module, and what we said is that the psychrometric chart, it is a beautiful shortcut for being able to do these calculations very quickly. However, remember that it only applies if you're dealing with atmospheric air at one atmosphere, so 101.325 kPa. Uh, if they take place at different pressures, then you need to have a different uh, chart that has been corrected for your elevation, or you need to use the equations that we looked at earlier. So that is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, uh, air conditioning processes. What we're now going to do is we're going to go through and look at uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning in a generic manner. And I'll show you the schematics as well as the equations that we'll be using. And then we'll dive in a little further and look at individual processes. Uh, and then in the next lecture, we'll be looking at solving problems. So that's where we're going with HVAC applications.